Wilder Weir has been at the expectations on Laurier West for us this morning, talking politics, having some breakfast. Wilder, everyone is talking about this election, and today is no exception. Yeah, absolutely, Joanne. And everyone is turning out here at Expectations. It's very, it's pretty cool that you guys are here. This is Yuri Cormier. He's joined us before on Breakfast Television. He's with Apathy as Boring. And uh, Luciano has been gracious enough to stay with us. I think he's here for the, uh, you know, maybe for a few more coffees, you know. You know, it's, it's early in the morning, right? Right. Hey, espresso's good. <laughs> the espresso's good here at Expectations. <laughs> okay, so we want to talk about Apathy, apathy is Boring. Um, I guess this is all about, you know, kind of getting youth excited about politics and the election. And, and uh, first, I got to ask you, uh, what was the, the voter turnout for, for youth uh, last year? Um, so historically in Canada, for the past 40 years, the voter turnout has gone down from like the mid 70s to uh, the high 30s for youth. Uh, last time around, because it was uh, the printemps arabe, a lot of movement, that bumped up to 62 percent for youth. But it was still very low compared to the overall average, which was 75. That means that older Quebecers were voting at probably 80 percent participation rate. So we still need to do a lot of catch up. Uh, that being said, the good news is that we don't have to convince youth that democracy is good, that they should vote. When you ask them their voter intention, 80% and more say they want to vote. So we need to find ways to reduce obstacles and make it easier for them, give them tools to know how to vote, when to vote, etc. Um, what's What are your concerns? What do you think the, the concerns are from the youth population? Um, in terms of uh, the, the difficulties, the actual barriers to voting, if you're uh, like me who's uh, gone around in the traveled a lot, gone to school, trying to find a job, you move a lot. So a lot of youth are not on the electoral list properly just because we have a very high level of mobility. Our parents at our age were richer than we are now, despite the fact that there's been 30 years of economic growth. That means that we don't own houses like one generation ago people own houses. And it's a lot easier to vote when you're the owner of a house instead of a coloc, uh, just not on the lease and all that. So there's, uh, there's work to do in getting people on the list and then convincing them and mobilizing them to vote on that 7th of April. And something that, you, you know, people who are younger should know who can vote. And, you know, the youth vote is very powerful. So get out there and vote no matter where you're voting. Just do it. It's How powerful is it? There's 2 million Quebecers between the age of 18 and 35. That's one-third of the electorate. If we go out and vote, the power of the mass is just, it's huge. There you go. So we're just talking about it over coffee. And about, a lot of people like talking about the election. But if you go out and vote, that's speaking uh, more than words. So I'll send it back to the studio for now. Guys, uh, here at Expectation. Please come on down and talk to us this morning. We're here all morning.